Hi there, I'm going to quickly show you how to use some brushes from the Perfect Portrait brush collection. Not all of them, and not even the mo most of them, just a few for time's sake. But we do have um, recorded webinars and such that will show you how to use brushes and uh, spend a lot of time doing that. Okay, so here is the after image that I just completed for this beautiful subject. And I'm going to show you the before. So we see the before there on the left and after on the right. And I'm going to quickly just do a few um, of the, show you a few of the brushes or um, do a few. And so I'm going to reset this picture. Again, I'm only going to do a few of them, all right? And you find your brushes by clicking on the brush icon below the histogram and then click on whatever is above the temp slider. That's if you've installed it correctly, but there is a guide in your download that shows you how to install them, plus we have, plus we have videos and such. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is brighten her up just a little bit, so I'm going to choose the add light. And when I choose the add light, I don't want to have the full strength, I'm going to reduce the flow down here, the flow. And that reduces how much we see of the change. So I'm just going to brush around and you're going to see that kind of come along as I do it. Now I'm going to click new, that's important, in between each time I use a brush, whether the same brush or a different brush if I want to you know, have a new intensity there. So I'm going to click new again. And um, one thing is her foundation was a little bit warmer than the rest of her skin. So I'm going to do fix cast yellow and reduce that flow because that restricts how much we see of the change. If we don't want the full force of the change to show up, then we can reduce the flow. So it just, you know, just dewarms her a little bit. Now I'm going to click new. And let's say the last thing, I'm going to do two more to show because we're trying to kind of keep this short. And I'm going to reduce that feather. Feather is how much it blends in to the pixels around it. And I'm just going to click the um, catch lights right there. And maybe I increase that. All right, there we go. I'll do a couple more really quick. So I sharpen, click, and every time you click and start brushing, it's going to put down a pin. That's the little circles you see everywhere. That's a pin. When I click new, it closes that pin and starts a new pin. And so the last thing I'm going to do is skin smooth. And I'm going to show you about using the mask. That feather is how much it blends in to the pixels around it. Sometimes you want a smaller feather, and sometimes you want a bigger feather, and sometimes you want to see your mask. The mask in Lightroom doesn't hide or I mean it conceal or reveal. It just shows you where you're brushing. All right, so I'm going to turn the brush the mask on, and now we see red. And that's not red that's being applied to her skin. That's just the mask that's showing me where I've brushed. That's all it's doing. It's showing me where I brushed. And I can turn the mask off and see the change. Again, I'm being very quick here for time's sake. And not being real specific. I'm going to hit O so I can turn it off. There we go. And if I come back in and I want to turn it back on, I can. Let's see where I brushed. All right. So that is really some quick ways to use the perfect portrait brushes. And I'm going to click done here. Um, go back into it, sorry. So there is a wide variety. There's some for the skin, lips, fixing cast for the eyes, adding light, adding detail, lots of different brushes that you can use for your subjects. And I'll go back and I'll show you the, um, all right. Whoops, let me go back. There we go. And the brushes update. There we go. That was an in process that I snapshot. And I'm going to do Y there. Okay. So we have a before and an after of those brushes. I'm going to show a couple more. Here's before and after. And this one, because we had some backlighting, there was some haze. So we had to fix the white balance. And um, so we uh, worked on that. Beautiful subject. And then on this one here. Um, did some of the uh, heel tool and uh, changed the white balance and brightened her up, smoothed her skin, 
um, brighten up her catch lights a little bit, made those eyes, because they're kind of deep and dark, come alive a little bit more. And um, there's a lot you can do to take a picture that's already fantastic and just um, fine tune the details and take it from, you know, so-so to extraordinary. I love my perfect portrait brushes and I hope you do too.